1500 meters, 10th and last. Sent on their way from the 1900 meter marker. Let's see how they play this one. Blue Eyed Ranger, the Black Caps, the early leader. Honeymoon is second, and the Red Blinkers of Under the Rose goes off to set the pace. Back in fourth is Ravarosa, that's in the orange. Expresso Martini is near the rail. They are followed by Attic View. Muscuri is going around them. Muscuri is caught very deep in the early stages. Then comes Dazzling Token. Roy's Holly Ark is mid-division, about seven or eight lengths off the leader. A head up in the air for a couple of strides. And then comes Paint the Way. Dazzling Token's on the inside. That's about 14 lengths off the leader. Further back in the running at this stage is hit it running and then being niggled at now is Dazzling Token and then we drop back to Nikki's Green Light and Tessa Dubois the trailer. And they're tracing about 15 lengths off the leader. Magic Mist is on the outside of runners. Under the rose to the thousand meter marker leads it. Muscuri second with the orange sleeves. Blue Eyed Rangers out the rail in third. On the outside of that, Ravarosa is in the orange, and then comes Honeymoon who gets niggled at. Towards the inside, Expresso Martini just waits at the rail back in six, only four lengths off the leader. Then Magic Mist, Attic View, Mystical Sword. Roy's Hollyhock's got about nine or ten lengths to make up on that inside running rail, and then comes Paint the Way. Top of the lane and under the rose leads it by two. Blue Eyed Ranger comes out for a run. Down the inside, Expresso Martini's going to put in a challenge. Mystical Sword. Roy's Hollyhockers towards the inside. But it's Blue Eyed Ranger at the front. And Expresso Martini, Roy's Hollyhock running on now. Roy's Hollyhock paint the way, runs on from behind. But Expresso Martini and Roy's Hollyhock. And it's Expresso Martini, just the leader. And Expresso Martini has won it. Roy's Hollyhock second. Paint the way third, Blue Eyed Ranger ran forward. Number six, Expresso Martini. Three ran 40. And wins it, had a shoe footed in the parade ring. And comes well fourth time at the track, steps up to this trip the first time, and she wins it well. The ideal world, Paul Gatsby, they win it by about three quarters of a length. Second to the favourite, number 16, Roy's Hollyhock. Third position goes to number nine, Paint the Way. Fourth placing, Blue Eyed Ranger. Then came Mystical Sword, Nikki's Green Light, Attic View. A well stretched out field at the business end of the 10th race. The toad favourite, number 16, the winner, ends up paying a 3 rand 40 a win, number 6 at 3.40. See how's the head on? The orange sleeves, two off the left hand side, Expresso Martini comes to challenge and Roy's Hollyhock is trying to make a race of it, but Expresso Martini continues to go here for Brandon Lorena and they win by about three quarters of a length. Lovely days racing here, most of them on the poly, we're back on the turf, no weather interruptions today. We'll be back next Friday, I think it is, at Gravel, back to the studio. The daughter of Ideal World Expresso Martini, bred by Vilgebus Drift and Maritz Fintin for the Williams has come good to win the last race. And after her last run, you decided the trip's too short for it? Yeah, we fancied her last time, but you, you know, Brandon said, look, we're going to get another chance with her because at 1400 they eased and then they sprinted and she wasn't suited to that and we decided, no, we, you know, there were no miles anyway, so, and so we decided to go for straight through for the distance. She had her shoe attended to, she looked quite above herself? Yeah, you know, she's quite a difficult filly, she kicks like anything, Sheldon, and you know, she kicked the wall, the shoe came loose and almost came off and then gave Jared a hard time to do, um, put the shoe back on and he replaced the shoe beautifully, well done to Jared, he's our farrier, thank goodness he was here today, because she is quite a handful, very strong filly, strong minded, and, um, but I think she's got a bit of potential. That's the main thing when they hit the board and they get a little bit of confidence behind them. Yeah, she'll, I think she'll get, go from strength to strength. Um, she'll get confidence from this win. And um, I'd like to say very well done to Ashley. He's here today, but uh, he's camera shy. But well done, Ashley, and thanks for the support. They'll collect this cheque and they'll have the champagne. Yeah, they'll, I think they'll collect a few pounds too. I think he had a few rand on her. Um, I said I think she'll win. Um, she
you know, she was horse to beat, I felt. And uh, the distance was um, right up her alley. Good end, well done. Thanks very much, Al. Man in form, Brandon Larina, long day at the office, driving out in the heat. And this one you had perfectly poised. Yeah, I had the, I had the advantage of a two draw. And it made a world of difference today. She, I think she had the run of the race throughout. And uh, she, she raced a bit green during the, the straight course. But uh, for a win for the merit, she's still a big baby. And I think a lot of room for improvement. Well done to Paul and Beth. You know, what can I say? They've been great to me and continue to be. And uh, well done to Mr. Williams. Uh, him and his sons are here. So I hope they enjoy this win. Congratulations. Good way to end the meeting after a hard day's work. Yeah, I think the drive home will be a bit shorter. But uh, also well done to, to Zorkfleet. Well done. Thanks, brother. Well done to Brandon Larina, Paul Gatsby and the Williams. We've seen number six, Espresso Martini, come through in the lucky last. That's the 10-race program. Safe trip home and we'll catch you later.